What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to control an Arduino board from a Python program. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that uh, the two most common things I make videos on are making projects with Arduino and home electronics, and then I do a lot of Python programming as well. And Arduino projects natively are programmed from the Arduino IDE provided by Arduino, and the language most closely resembles C++, which honestly is fine, and it's not that hard to use some basic inputs and outputs to do basic things, but when you get to the point where you want like really robust GUIs that you've designed yourself, or even more complicated programs programs where if you're like me and you find Python a much easier language to work in than C++, then you might find yourself, oh, this would be so much easier if I could just do it in Python. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to set up a basic Arduino board and then control it from a Python program. Okay, and just one thing to get super clear here is that there will always be some configuration you need to do on the Arduino IDE for your board, even with the end goal being to control that board's inputs and outputs from Python. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going going to make a Arduino project that has two LEDs on it, a green one and a red one, and we're going to control the states of those LEDs from Python using serial messaging. Okay, so the physical setup of this project couldn't be simpler. You just use two digital outputs of your choice from the Arduino board, put them into two LEDs, and then make sure they're going through 220 ohm resistors and back to ground. And that's it for the physical setup. Other than that, we just want to take a quick look at the Arduino sketch for this project. Also, now feels like a good time to mention that all of the code you'll see today both in the Arduino IDE as well as Python will be available in a GitHub link below this video. If you like the concepts we're doing here but you want to see a deeper dive and bigger more robust projects built both with Arduino and Python be sure to let me know about it in the comments below. All right let's just dive into the Arduino sketch setup uh, with the basic two loop setup um, it already in here. Void setup which is going to run just once when we boot this thing up and then void loop which by default is going to run continuously while the thing's on. And really the first step is we just need to define a constant integer um, for our red pin and our green pin because we have the red light and the green light in these different digital outputs. I have my red pin, uh, or my red LED on pin two and I have my green LED on pin four. So we'll just define their pins right there. And that's all we need to do ahead of time for this specific project. Okay, and then in setup, we only have to do, we have to do three things in total. We wanna to do serial.begin at a baud rate of 9600. And we're gonna use that same baud rate when we connect to it from Python. So uh, serial.begin at a baud rate of 9600. And then we just need to set both pin modes uh, on green pin and red pin to output, okay? Because we're controlling them um, from programs. So uh, we are controlling them from the Arduino, even though that seems a little counterintuitive. We are controlling them from the Arduino from Python. Uh, and we'll see how when we get into this loop section. So that's all we need in the setup section. Okay, and inside of loop, really the first thing we want to do every time is check if serial.available. And syntax is pretty important here. It, uh, you got to have these in parentheses. Um, and then this needs to have parentheses as well. And it needs to be greater than zero. Okay, so this means basically there is data at the serial port waiting for us. That is what serial.available is checking here, the length of the data being sent. And after that if statement, let's open up some new curly braces because basically everything else we wanna to do to this board is just contingent on there being data available. Okay, and the easiest thing to do first is just to define a string for our message that is going to be equal to serial dot, and I think it's just read string like that. Um, and this is gonna get the data that's waiting for us at kind of the, the end of the serial port uh, on the other side on our Python program, and it's going to read everything in. And now we just need to go through what do we want it to do um, and actually make sure to stay in the curly braces still because we're only doing this if there's a message. But what we'll do is we'll say if the message is equal to on, okay, so here's where your specific app is going to be super important because if you want something other than just on off control, which obviously eventually you will, um, you want to go through this kind of if, else if, else if, else if, or do like a match case statement thing to determine what to do with different messages. And in our case, if the message is on, I think we should just tell the green light to turn on. 
which is a super easy and straightforward command. It's just digital right and then green pin and then hi. Uh, and then we'll do, we'll click down one level of curly brackets and we'll say else if, and now if message is equal to off, then we'll go ahead and we'll digital, digital right, right. My goodness, having a hard day. Green pin low. Okay, and basically now we have a red pin too. We haven't told to do anything yet, so we should, right? We should do an else here. That's just basically saying, okay, there hasn't been uh, any command of the red pin yet. Well, what if I send a command accidentally that's not on and it's not off? Well, then what I wanna do is I wanna blink the red light indicating that's an error message. It's not a regular status. And so to set up, what I want it to do is to blink five times. So what I'll do is I'll set up a for loop. And in a for loop, you have to set uh, kind of three things. They are technically all optional, sort of, but you need basically these three things. You need the variable. And in this case, I'm going to initialize an index variable uh, and call it i. Then you need the condition, which for me will be i less than five. And then you need what happens at the end of the loop. And for me, I'm just going to add one to it. So this is some pretty specific C++ syntax, Arduino IDE syntax. This is kind of... Uh, not super intuitive to look at, which is why a lot of people prefer Python, but I'm going to do this for loop that makes it blink five times. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the digital write uh, commands we've already seen, but this time I'm going to say uh, red pin and I'm going to tell it to turn on. And then I'm going to use a little hundred millisecond delay. Uh, and then I'm going to tell it to turn back off. So digital write red pin low and then another delay so that it actually turns off. Because remember, we're inside of for loop, so if you don't put this second delay, you'll never actually see it turn off because it's gonna go low and then immediately go back to high. Okay, but this is all we need to do on the Arduino IDE side. We're just saying, hey, if I get a message telling the green pin to turn on, turn on. If I get a message telling the green pin to turn off, turn off. If I get some other message that I wasn't expecting to see, just flash the red light letting me know that there's an error. Um, okay, so we're just going to verify that it works. And I spelled digital wrong, <laughs> which is why we do the verification, you know. And there, it's money, so let's upload it to our board. And that is it from the Arduino sketch side of things. Okay, so now the bulk of this project is going to involve Python setup. And you can really think of our computer and Python in this case as a totally separate device, just communicating with the Arduino via serial, sort of like the Bluetooth modules in the recent video that we did on how to control your Arduino via Bluetooth. The basic thing we want this project to do is scan our currently in use COM ports from our computer, tell us which one looks like it has the Arduino board on it so that we can select the Arduino and then we can send some basic commands to the Arduino from our Python program. Okay, so let's take a quick look together at how to make that most basic version of the project. All right, so from the Python side of things to connect to and control an Arduino board, kind of the first module that you need to know about that you need to install is you need to run pip install pi serial. I already have it installed, so I don't need to run that, um, but that's going to allow us to make this import statement that will let us connect to serial devices. Okay, and that import statement is import serial dot tools dot list ports uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable called ports and we're going to set equal to serial dot tools dot list ports and then a command built in called dot com ports okay and this is going to get all of the communications ports on our computer and store those in a list inside our python script all right, now we are going to go ahead and just set an instance of our serial. So serial instance equal to serial dot serial. All right, so this is just us basically telling our program we're using serial communications. And now let's make an empty list for the ports list because the format they're coming in from this command is not the format we wanna use them as in our program. All right, so the thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna say for each one in our ports list, um, what we want to do is we want to add the string conversion of that port list of that port to our ports list and then we're also going to print it in the console. So to do that it's going to be ports list that we just made dot append and then just a string version of that one list and then let's go ahead and print the same thing let's print the string of that one okay so this is us going through and it's displaying all of the comports we just detected on our computer 
Now that we've shown the user all of the ports, we want to actually get the COM port that the user wants to use, which is the user, us, picking the COM port that we see the Arduino on. And so we're going to make it an input. And just in here, we're going to say select COM port for Arduino by number. Okay, so we're just telling them, hey, we want to see the number for the COM port for your Arduino, and we're going to bring that in as an input. Okay, so now just to protect our program a little bit, we'll say for i in range length of our, what did we call it, ports list. Yeah, ports list. And what we're going to do is we're just going to check and make sure that the number, or honestly, it could be any string of numbers and letters, right? Like all we asked for was a user input. So we need to make sure that that's an actual COM port. So we're going to check the COM that was just entered from the user and verify that it's a valid port. Okay, and the command for that is really simple. It's just going to be if ports list at i, and then we're going to use Python's built-in kind of string tool to check that it starts with it. You could just use like the typical box brackets, um, but there's this built-in tool that's going to automatically check the beginning of your string, so we might as well use it. And what we're checking for is to see if it starts with the word com, literally C-O-M, all caps, and then the string conversion of the com port that we just specified that we want to use. Okay, so again, um, inputs do come in as strings, so this STR not necessarily required, but we're trying to build a robust uh, project here. And then we'll say, okay, if it is good, then the port we want to use will be equal to, and now we will just include com in it, because um, that is uh, what we need to do to address a serial port is have it com whatever. And then we'll also just print out now, um, we'll also just print out that we got it. So uh, we'll kind of print I'll just print use. There we go. So that once we get a healthy COM port, we have this running list of statuses in the terminal that are telling us what's going on. And now it's time to actually set up the serial port. And that's really just uh, three easy steps. It's serial inst dot um, baud rate. And we want to set it equal to 9600. And then it's our serial instance uh, dot port port and that's going to be equal to use which we just defined and then serial dot uh serial dot sorry serial inst dot inst dot open okay so we're just opening the com port and saying hey we want to talk and now basically i don't want to exit unless i the user actually ent it clicks types in exit or indicates that they want to terminate the program. So we'll make a while loop that's while true. And the only way to get out of this while loop will be if you type in the command exit. Okay, and so the whole time it's true, we'll be continually getting the command, which will be an input from the user. And we'll say Arduino command. And then we'll just tell them we're looking for on or off, uh, not with a question mark, with a slash. There we go. So this is us saying, hey, enter your command, but that we recommend on off and then actually I'll tell them lowercase exit. So just like that. Um, and those are going to be the valid commands. So now the only other thing we have to do is say that serial instance we have, well now we want to write and the data we want to write is just the command, but it's not this simple. We have to do something called encoding. And that's because there's a standard string transfer protocol called UTF-8 that we want to send this as. So it's actually command.encode, which again is just a nice string uh, conversion tool, transformation tool that Python offers. But we need to say command.encode at UTF-8, which is sort of a universal text format. That might be what UTF stands for. I don't know. Someone look that up. Um, but anyways, the last thing we want to do is we want to say if the command is equal to exit, right, that third option that we gave, then we want to quit the program. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways you could uh, you could go about skinning this cat, but I'm just going to say if you typed in exit, terminate the program. And actually, I think even beyond quit, we'll do exit. Okay. Um, and I think that's all we have to do. But before I run this now, uh, I want to get my phone camera going so that I can show you what the Arduino board, there we go, so that I can show you what the Arduino board is doing when we run this program. All right, so let's boot it up. Hit play. Hit play. Hit run. It will let me run. There we go. Okay, and you can see I ran it and I got these. Let me make that a little bigger. Maybe you can't see. Um, I got these options for the COM ports. There's serial over Bluetooth on COM5 and COM6, which is from the last Arduino project I did. 
with Bluetooth, but the Arduino Uno currently plugged in is in 11. So I'll type in 11 and it's gonna say, okay, you're hooked up to COM11, now give it a command. And if this is working properly, then typing on, we'll get the green light to go on, there we go. And typing off, we'll get it to turn back off, which is awesome. If I type in a bad command, the red light blinks five times, which is great. If I type in, even if I type in on in its lowercase, it blinks because it's not picking up the commands it's expecting to see. So this is great. I can turn on, I can turn off. And now if I type in exit, the red light's gonna blink because it thinks that's a bad command, but also my Python function has stopped. So there you go. That is the basics of the Python program we need to write. Obviously, you can extrapolate this out a lot, a lot, a lot into more complicated programs and more complicated projects. I definitely think the next step for me to do as a tutorial for you guys is to show how you can make a slightly more complicated Arduino project, but also add a GUI um, in the Python side of things. So this was a basic tutorial to get your feet wet, kind of dip you into the world of controlling Arduino from Python. And in future videos, we'll make more complicated physical builds and more complicated pro programs. Okay, you guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this basic tutorial. Again, this is just sort of in the direction I want the channel to be going, building real things, doing big software projects, doing physical hardware builds as well, and just finding fun ways to combine them all together. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions uh, you have below, and consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel to stay up to speed on all the great content coming out. And if you would like to consider becoming a super supporter of the channel like my friends Philip and Dale, then check out the Patreon link down there below with the GitHub and all the other links below. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck with your projects. Until next time, bye.